Hi, I'm Nick Regan. I'm an actor's headshot photographer in London and today in this short video I want to talk to you about making sure you look like your headshot. And this is the number one complaint from casting directors which is when an actor walks into an auditioning room and they look nothing like their headshot. So in this video I've got a few examples of myself and a good colleague of mine David who's volunteered to be a guinea pig for this um, and we're going to show you how and why variations differ. Sometimes we look at ourselves in the mirror and we don't know the changes that are happening to our body. So we may not notice that our hairline is receding a little bit or that our face is starting to sag a bit and show the signs of age and wear or we have a few wrinkles and laughter lines around our face. However, when we look back at pictures of ourselves from a few years ago, we can see almost immediately how different we look and in general it's how much younger we look. As you can see in the photo below, it's a picture of me a good 15 years ago and you can see I've got longer hair and long sideburns. I no longer look like that. So if I was an actor walking into an audition and I sent in that headshot, the first thing the casting director is going to say to me is, who are you? I want your younger brother with the long hair and the sideburns. So, as actors, sometimes it's difficult to accept the fact that we're ageing and that our faces are no longer as young and perk, perky and uh, tight as we'd like them to be. But we have to remember that as we grow older, we show the signs of our life. Our face is full of our character and our personality. And as actors, you should embrace that. Embrace that in your headshot. Remember, a good headshot needs connection emotion and personality to make you stand out from the crowd. So don't be afraid of embracing how you look. All it means is you may not get cast for the kind of parts you would have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago. You're now getting cast for the parts you're suitable for. In this other example is a good friend of mine, David, who I've been taking photographs of for quite a number of years and we can see that how David's changed as well and he no longer looks like his original photograph and also you can see this photograph which is like this where we did a take on the Steve Jobs photograph that's no good as an actor's headshot I personally as a headshot photographer hate hands in photographs I hate this I hate this I hate this and all these things because it distracts away from the main point of focus which is the actor's face so remember, when you're using a headshot, make sure you look like your headshot and give yourself the very best chance of success at the audition room, the best chance of impressing the casting director when you walk in the room because you must look like your headshot. If you don't, you're already wasting your time, the casting director's time. You know, first impressions count. You could well believe in a really bad first impression of the casting director and the next time they see your photograph or you, they may have a bad impression of you already lodged in their mind. So the main point of this video is this. Make sure you look like your headshot. And even when you look in the mirror, you might not like what you see, but not everybody views your face through your eyes and people take you for what they find you and see different things in your face. And casting directors will judge you in a split second. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Nick Gregan from nickgregan.com and I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any comments, or indeed if you have any questions, please leave them in the box below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.